All right, good evening everybody. Uh, it is 2018, so it's time for another unboxing of the beautiful, the wonderful Comic Con badge. So I just got mine in the mail today. We got everything set up and we're gonna do a live unboxing. I have not touched the seal on this thing yet, so you're seeing this same time I am. And I know that CCI has been a little bit wonky this year. Some of you guys uh, got your badge before you even got your email that it shipped. So for some of you, this is old news. For a lot of you, you haven't gotten your badge yet. So this is exactly what you're gonna see in 2018 from Comic-Con. So as we've seen uh, CCI post, you get the box about the same size as last year's. Has the uh, astronaut toucan on it. Once again, the magnet closure on the front. And as we have seen, we got Jack Ryan there on the inside. And I was lucky enough to get the CCI logo pin. So that's the pin I got. Hopefully one of my family members got the astronaut pin and we'll have a full set. So let's see what, what's in the booklet. Well, before we do that, looks like Amazon has taken over the box, as I believe we've reported before. All kinds of stuff from Amazon Prime in there. You've got Man in the High Castle, which did not come last year, but this year pretty much anything goes. Uh, the Tick, Jean-Claude Van Johnson, which actually was canceled, so interesting choice there. And Lore. So, and then it says, more geeky goodness under your badge, and that's what all this stuff is. So in your booklet, in your booklet, you will find a welcome and some nice photos there for everybody to see. Talking about the 49th annual celebration, that sort of thing. Next year's 50 years of Comic-Con. I have to imagine something uh, is going to go on for that. So... Let's get through 2018 first, right? So basically it's a big thank you everybody for buying badges and coming to our convention. Next page is a bit of a synopsis about your badge. And uh, if you'll uh, look back, we've also posted about different badge types. Uh, general attendee, professional, creative, professional, trade, uh, so on and so forth. So you can uh, check back to there too. Um, tells you the yeses and noes about badge. Basically you gotta have the whole thing. Can't have uh, just part of a badge. Can't take the card out for souvenir purposes. But uh, yeah, this is what you need to have on you at all times. The whole complete set. And it says must match the name on your photo ID. May be checked by security upon entry. And as you saw yesterday they've expanded some of those security checkpoints may be replaced for a nominal fee on site so if you lose it they're going to charge you to replace it but you can get one there cannot be sold shared or transferred this is absolutely important if you go on craigslist ebay next door any sort of third-party selling app and they're selling you a comic-con badge for 2018 and they say it's valid and legit they are lying to you you can get reported and the badge will get canceled. You won't go to Comic Con. Some other person is going to have a hard time with their badge, and there are also possible uh, liabilities in there for anyone involved. So just don't do it. Not, it's not worth it. But it tells you about the tap in, tap out. Same thing as uh, last couple of years. Badge replacement we already touched on. Uh, child badges. Uh, if you uh, need to get a child badge, uh, that's already been explained. And then uh, for any badge questions and help, it tells you where to go and who to contact. Then you get a little thing about pins. tells you about the two different pins that it has. And then the uh, bag, book, and lanyard. Yes, got to have that lanyard. The BBL pickup. So you're going to... Uh, let's see here. Got your badge, but how do you wear it? Lanyards, event guides, quick guides, souvenir books, and bags will be available for pickup upstairs in the sales pavilion. So all this pickup 
used to be next door, now this year back again in Sales Pavilion. Uh, also tells you program premiums if you get a, a ticket for uh, some free swag from a panel or some sort of programming. You're going to pick that up in the Grand Hall AB at the Hyatt Hotel. So, I, if I'm reading this right, it looks like it's the same convoluted walk as last year. Uh, you have to go back by the Bayside entrance. Uh, it's kind of like a back door. Kind of like they're sneaking us in, but oh well. So it looks like it's the same spot as last year. So then it tells you the publications you're going to get, your souvenir book, your events guide, and your quick guide. Right there. Uh, why should you pick them up? Well, what the heck, everything's on an app. Um, you can if you want to. It's up to you, of course, but uh, I like to grab the souvenirs. A little collectible. I'm old-fashioned that way. And they're free, so you can't beat the price. They give you a little must list, tells you uh, what you have, what you have to have with you. Uh, your photo ID, definitely, uh, has to be a valid uh, photo ID and it has to match uh, the name on your badge, otherwise uh, you're going to have a hard time. Uh, your Comic-Con badge confirmation, your barcode, never hurts to have a printed copy on hand or if you've got your email on your cell phone, never hurts to have that handy, just in case. Uh, a lanyard if you've got your own or if you go grab one of uh, CCI's free ones. Comfortable shoes. Oh yeah, that is so important. Don't don't be a hero. You know, I mean, I'm sure you might look good in those six inch stilettos, but you're not going to last five minutes on, on the exhibit hall floor with those. So really, but I'll tell you what, my legs look amazing in them. Uh, water bottle, definitely going to have to stay hydrated. Uh, food. There is food available inside the convention center and within the immediate surrounding area. Gas Lamp Quarter has some amazing restaurants, but you might be stuck in a panel room for seven or eight hours up, uh, per day. I know I've done all day Saturday once in Ballroom 20 and I was happy, but it's really important to bring some snacks with you. Bring a sandwich, bring some chips, uh, grab some grab-and-go uh, at a local supermarket. There's 7-Elevens and CVSs all around there. But yeah, definitely uh, bring some of that stuff. And sun protection. We all remember 2016 when it was so stinking hot and everybody got burned. San Diego weather, usually nice. Sunny in 75. But some years, you just never know. A want list. Now, don't confuse this for a need list. Be prepared to be disappointed. That's all I'm going to say about that. Like Mick Jagger said, you can't always get what you want, and most of us always wind up disappointed in some way, shape, or form. But make sure you have a list of who you want to see, where they're at, and maybe if you're kind of nerdy like me, uh, a budget that you want to stick to, so that way your spouse doesn't get mad at you. A phone charger. Uh, they do sell phone chargers there on site, but they often run out by Friday or Saturday. So it's definitely beneficial to bring your own and make sure you bring the cable. Don't forget your cable. Uh, a camera, obviously. We all want to take pictures. Prohibited items. Uh, drones, helium balloons, and helium-filled products. So now we're going into a panel asking a question, somebody like this. I, I don't think they like that. Functional props or weapons. We've already touched on the uh, CCI weapons policy uh, in, in previous posts, and there's really no change this year. In fact, um, they're still pretty strict. Uh, hand carts, trolleys, rolling luggage, or oversized strollers in the exhibit hall. Obviously, the exhibitors get a pass on this because they have to cart their stuff in and out, but for general attendees, just don't any, if it rolls, it's not a good idea. Hoverboards and pets. Now, what's interesting here is that I don't see selfie sticks here on here anymore. So what I think we might have to do is take a look into that. It probably is still prohibited, but we might have to look into that and see if it's not still verboten. All right, then you got a nice little centerfold here of the convention center 
upper level where you're going to find all of your panels. Uh, I'm not going to take too long on this since it's a video you can't really see very well, but uh, it tells you uh, where all your panel rooms are uh, for ballroom 20, 6A, 6B, CF, and 6DE among others. Uh, the one it really doesn't have on here is Hall H because that's uh, sort of off to the side separate. In fact, Hall H is not on the next page either, so oh well. But yeah, you get to see everything that's going on upstairs where the sales pavilion is, where you can get your CCI swag, um, and then little directional arrows to point you to the Marriott Marquis, the Grand Hyatt, and uh, Horton Grand, among other places. And then you have the mezzanine level, which, in my opinion, is a hidden gem at Comic-Con. If you get up to the mezzanine level, there's a nice little food court up there, some chairs and tables, and you get to overlook the whole convention center floor. So it really is a great spot to just sit and relax for a minute. Uh, and then it talks about games, uh, deaf and disabled services, uh, gives information on where to go and uh, how all that works. Offsite events, uh, we all know that there are tons of offsites every single year. This year is definitely going to be no exception. If CCI is kind of widening its radius a little bit, you know that the offsites are just going to be big and bold as always. So you've got the convention center is definitely the hub. And then you have programming over at the Hilton Bayfront, the Marriott Marquis, the Manchester Grand Hyatt, the Horton Grand Theater, Omni San Diego, San Diego Central Library, and then everything else in between. So if you can't find something to do downtown during Comic-Con, you're doing something wrong. And then it gives you a little map of the downtown area basically gives you a radius of where all the CCI sponsored offsites are going to be. Uh, now this is interesting, gives you a little write up on the new museum that's going to be opening in Balboa Park. A little blurb there about the uh, museum named TBD. Tells you that it's located in historic Balboa Park, will feature special exhibits programs and events from across the Comic-Con universe. To learn more, you can go to booth 1714, that's 1714 in the exhibit hall, and you can talk to them about it and see maybe you can help them shape it. Looks like you can uh, maybe donate and get involved there. And you can follow their progress uh, for the newsletter about the museum. They have a website there, and then gives a little background to Balboa Park and the zoo. Ah, there you go. See, this is what a lot of people need. The shuttle schedule. So, let me make sure my fingers aren't covering anything there, but we'll have better pictures, obviously, posted. But uh, this gives you the shuttle schedule the, and the route for every hotel. Uh, how you can get here, and don't forget the uh, upper area by the convention center is going, where the bus is usually dropped off is going to be closed. Buses are going to drop off and pick up down on Harbor Drive. The shuttle buses are the only things that are allowed in there. And you're probably seeing my cat's tail as he wanders across the table. Outstanding. And then it gives you a shuttle map. Which is obviously going to be helpful. Um, I would suggest opening it on a website or getting a magnifying glass because I had LASIK surgery and this is even hard for me to read. So that's it. That's what you get. You get a booklet, you get a pin, and you get your badge. Hopefully this was informational and educational for everybody out there. Remember, when you post pictures of your badge on social media, do not, do not show your name. Those eBay scams, those Craigslist scams that I mentioned earlier, that's how they happen. They pull somebody's random badge picture off the internet and claim it as being for sale. So not only is your badge getting turned off and you're getting screwed, but somebody else is getting screwed at the same time and you're basically making life miserable. So just don't 
do it. We, we, we say this every year. We beg you, don't post your name on your badge. So thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, you can tweet us at SD underscore comic underscore con. Or you can just uh, comment below. Thanks a lot. Have a great night. at SD underscore comic underscore con, or you can just uh, comment below. Thanks a lot. Have a great night. It's Comic-Con in Spain!